everyone. You're here with H. Greg Lux in the beautiful Las Olas in Southern Florida. I am so excited because today I fell in love with the beauty next to me. As much as I've been fond of Bentley's, this one truly stole my heart. It's the perfect blend between luxury and sport. Come closer so I can show you all the details that took my heart. So let's start with the front fascia. This is one of my favorite parts in the appearance. They nailed these headlights. Look at them, they're crystals, they're so beautiful. And then you have this really pretty grill. It's the perfect mesh. From a distance, it really commands a presence. And as you get closer to the details, you just can tell they put a lot of thought into it. So I personally always reference the wheels as shoes and it could either make or break the entire outfit. And this one dressed to the nine. Come closer and take a look. The perfect wheels, it's so nice with the black accents that you see throughout, a perfectly finished gray. And then on the interior, you have the beautiful pop of the red. Again, playing into that balance between the luxury and sport. Come closer, I want you to see where I truly fell in love because it was after I sat inside. I feel like this whole car has been built to be all about me, honestly. Everything's in the perfect place, easy to find, easy to follow. Furthermore, I'm a huge fan of Alcantara, and I hate having to pick between a pure Alcantara wrapped steering wheel and an all leather one. In this one, you have both, literally, it's perfect. Usually when an interior has too much red, it's overwhelming, but this one, it's just right, because you have the beautiful touches of the black stitching and the piano black finishes, and then of course, if you love carbon fiber, there's just the right little touch right here in the center of the analog clock. And then I'm gonna turn it on because I wanna talk about the different driving modes. You have sport, you have the standard, the comfort, and then you can customize the driving. Everything's really easy to see. Also the buttons are a blend between traditional buttons and the haptic feedback a lot of the new ones have. So you feel like it's actually listening to your command when you touch any of the buttons. And then your entire instrument cluster is so easy to see. The gauges, you look down at an instant glance, you could see exactly what's going on and you have your heads up display. That's one of my favorite features because it just helps me keep my eyes on the road and I'm constantly scanning anyway. So I could check everything that's happening, the steering wheel is the perfect size. I feel like they put a lot of thought in the details on this car. I mean, even when the top is down, like earlier today it was cold, they have this button here where it blows hot air to your head right here from the headrest. That's just like a small little thing that makes the biggest difference. It really helped warm me up. So they thought about everything. So as I pick up speed, it starts blowing air accordingly. So right now that I stopped, it stopped. But it's there to kind of, I think, counter effect the wind that's cooling from the outside. Under the hood, you have a twin turbo, four liter V8 engine that pushes 542 horsepower and it does zero to 60 in four seconds. The top speed in this beauty, 198 miles per hour. The instrument cluster is extremely easy to see and navigate. Starting from the left here, you have this turning knob that first will allow you to see the date and the time. And then you swipe down, it gives you the short-term memory and how many miles per hour you were driving on your last drive. And then your long-term memory. And then furthermore, it gives you the driver assist, which is all your safety and then your traffic signs. But for me, I prefer to leave it here with the date and time just because I can quick glance, see the time that it is, how fast you're going. And then to the right, you can see how many miles you've gone. This is a brand new car, so it's only had 124 miles on it and your RPMs. So it's just super easy to see and navigate. And then if you are cold, like earlier today, I turned on the heated steering wheel, just to push of a button and again off. If you want a voice command, you have your navigation system all set up. You can actually tell it to take you somewhere. And then this one over here is gonna give you your GPS. And then moving on over to the center, if you are hot or cold, you can put your heated seats, your cool seat. When you go and drive, you could see the camera in front of you. 
So you can see the yacht right there, the car in front of me, and then when I go into reverse, you see everything behind you. One of the things I love is that it has the most beautiful ambient lighting. You just can't see it right now because it's daylight, but it's all around in the interior cabin. It's really nice. And then for climate, furthermore, you can actually see the breakdown here. I have, I mean, you have all the buttons here, but if it's easier for you to see it on the screen when you're driving, you can also have that as an option. All your apps, and once your phone's linked up, it has the Apple CarPlay linking up your apps too. And then you have all your settings, so you can adjust all the amount of like assistance you may need. I personally don't like too much, it's annoying. But if you want someone to tell you constantly if you're departing your lane, it can also tell you that. It's a super intelligent, luxurious, sporty, and all around perfect car. It's time to take this baby for a drive and see what that sport mode is all about. See ya. So this has that twin turbo V8 engine, 542 horsepower. So the zero to 60 is in four seconds, which is pretty good. This feels really good. And you know, obviously my name is Sahar and there's the S right here on the headrest. I love it. You know what I love is a lot of these digital clusters on these cars these days can be like too noisy and kind of confusing, but this one's just easy to read. I love it. Like at a glance, you could see everything. I could see my speed, the speed limit, the weather, the time, and the drive's super smooth. One of my biggest concerns when I get into any sport is, you know, obviously the suspensions adjust accordingly and it's like you kind of feel bumps more in this one, no. So the lights on the inside, it's really cool. It has all the same diamond crystal that's in the headlights. I love that. Sport mode. Downshift's just right. Love the growl of the engine in sport mode. Okay, we're here by the beach. We gotta try out the sound system, the Bang & Olsen. guys love this Bentley just as much as I do visit us at HVAC Lux for more information bye